back at it again. I mean, just it, already this first week, what are you kind of seeing from, from the guys? I see a lot of guys eager to learn. Uh, you know, there's some guys now we're counting on that haven't, you know, been in that role. So, uh, you know, guys that were in the program for a couple of years or a year that now have to step up and, you know, be a starter and, you know, try to get us all better. So, but uh, like what I see right now, we're getting great effort. And again, I call these underwear practices don't mean a whole lot right now. It's, it's obviously good to get out, communicate, do all that. But tomorrow we'll find out a lot more when the pads go on. What's it been like having Davin, you know, back being that kind of veteran leader on the defense now? Yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, he's done a great job all uh, winter long in workouts and just in team settings of uh, being that guy and stepping up to the front. Uh, and, you know, then you got Devon Betty that, you know, helps him with that kind of stuff, Boykin, uh, Aiden White. So, you know, we've got some vets that help him out, but he's kind of taking that lead role. And, you know, it was Drake and Isaiah and Peyton, and, and now it's Davin. So, uh, but it's it's good to see him, you know, be in that leadership role. Competition is always good. You know, what areas do you kind of see? Like, you're curious to see what will happen this spring at different spots. Yeah, I think uh, corner is a competition right now. You know, we got three guys that we feel really good about uh, working some other guys in, but. You know, we have to find out who's going to be in that too deep. So that's going to be a position, obviously, linebacker, uh, losing two starters there. Uh, so there's a lot of competition going on there. Uh, up front, you know, Davin obviously is a guy that, that we're counting on to be, be the starter at DN, but, you know, the nose and the other DN spot are up for grab. So we have competition all over the place. It's safety, nickel, you know, so we got a lot of holes to fill. and. You know, feel like we've done a great job of recruiting our needs, get it going in the portal for our needs, and and now these guys have to step up, and somebody's got to win the job. Has yeah. anyone made a big jump since, say, late December? No, again, you can't really tell much. Overall, on the defense, not really. Uh, you know, again, we'll we'll know a lot more tomorrow uh, after we get the, the pads on a little bit, and then obviously in a couple of weeks when we have our first scrimmage. Uh, that we play real football, that, that's when we're going to be able to tell who can tackle people, or who can, you know, make a play, communicate in, in the heat of the battle. Earlier this week, Sean Brown said you've been trolling him during the season, saying you were going to, were going to move him to linebacker. What was it about Sean's physique, his game, that led to that switch? Yeah, Sean is a, uh, Sean's very smart. Sean's a physical player. Uh, and let's put him in a position to do what he does best. And what he does best is tackle people. So. You know, with the void with Peyton and Jalen Scott and those guys leaving, I, I thought it was time for him to move down in there and and give us a little, you know, experience in the box. And, and he's done a little bit of free safety, but now he's living it every day. Peyton's at the combine today. You know, what are you most excited to see him, you know, do on the field? See him run that 40. I mean, he's <laughs> going to uh, – I think he's going to do really well. I, you know, if I had to guess, I mean, I'm – He's going to be low four fours, maybe even get into high four three. So excited to watch him do uh, do what he does. I would say standards been set here over the past few years, and if so, how do you raise that standard over the next uh, few weeks, months? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think our standard on defense has been established uh, since 2020, and we took over. And you know, they, these kids know how to play, and they they know our expectations and. Yeah, we're going to play a certain way or they're not going to play for us. They need to transfer and get out of here. If they're not going to play hard, play physical, and play fast. And, you know, th those guys understand that. That's the easy part now. And, and with the new guys coming in, our older guys are going to teach them all about what we do and how we play. Uh, and my goal is we're going to be better next year than we were last year. So that's been my goal every year. And I said at this time a year ago that I've expected the 23 defense to be just as good and at the end of the year we were. So you see progression opportunity? Yeah, oh yeah, we're going to keep getting better. Uh, you know, right now I think if I had to put, you know, where, where we're different is going to be in our back end. I think we've got more depth right now in our back end than we've ever had. So that excites me a little bit. Uh, now the key is keeping them all healthy. What do you see how people fill the void of shot and safety? Uh, well, right now, you know, we, we've got, uh, you know, uh, Bishop uh, Torrente has moved to safety, so he's playing a little bit of safety for us. We've got Zach Myers doing a good job. We've got uh, Brody Barnhart, uh, Damon Fagan. So we've got a lot of guys that have, uh, you know, we're here a year ago that sat back and watched, and, and those guys, it's their time to step up and, and try to win the job. 
how much have you seen, I guess, you haven't seen much of the spring so far, but just Brandon, you know, Cissé playing a lot last year, kind of transition now to, you know, be able to compete for, for that corner spot. Yeah, the, the good thing with Brandon is uh, he, he's very, very smart. Uh, he played in our dime package a year ago. He's He transitioned to nickel sometimes midweek during practice, and we felt good if we needed to use him in a game there. So he's very smart. He's football savvy. He can play corner. He can play nickel. Uh, he can do a lot of things for us. So, uh, and, you know, the first two days watching him, he had a couple picks in one-on-ones yesterday. So uh, expecting big things out of him. And, you know, I, I know that he'll be able to help us where we're, where we're, where needed. Maybe because he came from an FCS school, Devin Marshall hasn't got as much attention as maybe some of the other transfers. But what popped about him? Yeah, I thought that uh, what I like about him, again, he can play nickel, he can play corner, he can play a lot of different things for us. And he did that on film. Uh, the thing that was very uh, exciting for us when he went in the portal is actually Villanova's defensive staff was here last year with us, and they spent three or four days learning our scheme, ran a lot of our stuff. And when he went in the portal, the first call we got was from their coordinator and said, you know, here's a guy that fits what you do. We'll help all we can to get him to you guys and, and end up working out for us. Is that common? I'm sorry, is that common, that type of connection with somebody Villanova, which you just explained. Is that common in the industry? Uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, K-State, what's well, crazy. Uh, you know, K-State, the last three off seasons, we spent a lot of time together, and then we had to go play them in a bowl game. Uh, yeah. But we just had a clinic, a three-down clinic in Vegas with UNLV and uh, K-State again. Uh, so, you know, we, we shared a lot of ideas. And, uh, but, you know, you, you get friends in this profession uh, and guys that you trust. Uh, guys that run similar stuff and you want to learn from each other. So, uh, you know, it's been a great friendship relationship with K-State. Now UNLV's in the fold. Old Dominion's a school like that. Uh, that was the connection, how we got Robert Kennedy a year ago. Same thing last offseason. They studied it, came here and spent two or three days, installed all of our stuff, and Robert went in and, you know, kind of worked out. So, uh, but, yeah, you, you do it with certain people. Uh, obviously, people that you don't think you're going to play or on your schedule, you're going to do it. Who knew that we were going to draw K-State in the bowl game, so. Does All that make right, that transition? Let's trade my last question, and then let's do uh, we'll see, say, okay. Do you feel like the uh, playoff expansion is adding a little bit more hunger to what you're seeing early? Yeah, I mean, obviously it gives more teams opportunity. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. Uh, you know, you can lose a game and, and still bounce back. Uh, you know, so, you know, anytime it expands from 4 to 12, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. And, you know, our goal is first to, to win game one and second to win game two and so on and so forth. But, you know, the ultimate goal for us, yeah, uh, I mean, we all want to be in that playoff and, and get a piece of that pie and see what happens. Okay.